When he was brought into our clinic, they were not aware that his size was a problem. Was it so exciting? He was over 130 pounds. Just a very round <laughs> dog. He was like a potato. And they were also not aware that he had a broken leg. From the pressure of his weight, he wasn't able to support his weight. None of us were really sure what to do with him. But he's a good boy. But I was like, I'm gonna take him home. The first time I loaded him up in the car, we got him on a tarp and lifted him up. There was definitely some stuff weighing him down. It was just really sad. So I give him a prescription diet. We started him at over a cup of food a day. And slowly I just lessened that out. He likes to nudge for food a lot. But I'm just like, oh, I know you want food and just being stern with it. We were able to monitor him in the vet clinic. We would all cheer him on whenever he got on the scale. Unfortunately, with every journey, there's always setbacks. Okay. But he never stopped. He just wanted to be up. And one day, he just stood up on his own and started walking. Come on, Bubba's. Come on. I was ecstatic and he was happy too. He would break out of his kennel at night. I have a strange feeling when I open this door, Buddy is gonna be right behind it. His doctor approved it. The way his leg was broken, it actually provided support. So there really wasn't another way for him. We actually have farm cats. They don't really mess with each other, but they will go into the trees right there next to him. It's super sweet. As soon as he started walking and moving, you could just see him like light up. Now versus when he first started, there's a huge change. He was very affectionate. He had energy. He's lost 50 pounds. He loves his life and I'm happy to give him that chance to really enjoy it.